Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Acid Rain World time. We've got the next three, or the last three perhaps, in the Bucks team, the new releases. We've seen Jack and Bob already. See top right of your screen now for the video link. Now we have King, Argus and Steel. And I don't think they're re-releasing or adding Sophia to this one, which is a shame because she was a fantastic uh, Bucks team member uh, released about two years ago maybe um, I will stick her in the top right corner for you to check out that video too she's one of the best releases that they've ever done because so many loadout options and accessories really good okay so let's have a look at the boxes let's go from left to right King who in the original release was fantastic the walk in the park version I didn't get any of them so I've no idea but artwork is really crisp that face just looks so good Always dark on the back, but we can see that it does look pretty good. I like that backpack, nice gun. We've seen those guns before, it does look pretty cool. The small stuff is quite difficult to make out, but when you open up, we'll see. Argos Nocturnal Predator! This one's the shield is striker, Nocturnal Predator. He had a great big sniper rifle originally, because he's a sniper and a sort of giddy suit. He does look good in the artwork. On the back, we can see, yeah, massive great big gun. Is that a cloak as well maybe another decent backpack his pistol and i uh, can't quite make out what the rest isn't but does look good and then we have steel unstoppable bomber very very nice looking the rocket launcher now he's like a back mounted cannon perhaps so he's got a rocket launcher a great big gun it looks like it is a backpack for mounting a a cannon on it and he's got the pistols i think we saw those with jack with the longer magazines and longer clips does look really cool looking forward to opening these up and taking a look if you like this whole content please consider joining the patreon link in the top right of your screen now get to see content like this early some exclusive and extra behind the scenes videos and also we do have prize draws running occasionally to win all sorts of awesome prizes okay let me unbox these set them up and we'll get back into it so i'm back in an instant okay here they are that took quite a while to set up there are so many options with them now i will say this uh, people have, including me, complained about the price and the rising prices of Acid, of Acid Rain World figures in the past. But I've got to say, the amount of options and extras and accessories they are packing with these figures. I don't want to say they're good value for money, but the value for money in terms of options and loadout and what you can do is actually some of the highest you'll find in action figures. Probably the highest you'll find in 118 scale, near enough. Um, but they're not cheap. But they are just really well thought out. Loads of details. Some things haven't worked out yet. Some things I have. Uh, and the two, the middle and the right. So Argos and Steel are the only two Acid Rail World figures that actually come with. Dying instructions on how to set everything up. Very, very cool. They all come with loads of accessories. Now, Argos and Steel come with more than King. But let's look at accessories first. So King, he comes with this steel knuckle you can hold in one hand so you can bang punch with this this would be for his right hand because the left hand has a shield with a steel knuckle already which we'll see in a moment comes with his face mask we'll look at the face mask on the figures in the, a bit later on and if you don't want to have his um forearm protector with the baton you can use this one without the attachment for that for argos so he comes with they all come with one of these i don't know if it's a a little keg of beer, a grenade, or a little coffee capsule. Uh, Kings, I've attached his one half on his. The others haven't attached. He'll come with this. Argos also comes with three of these, which are... I'm not quite sure. I don't want to say shells, but he comes with three of those. Um, his face mask is particularly cool. Look at that. Reminds me of Planet Green Valley mind control a little bit. Also one of the Joy Toy ones. And then he comes with his sort of a armoured camouflage suit, which I'll look at on him later. Then we come to Steel, who just <laughs> OTT armed and going to, you know, kick butt. So he's got an additional pistol here, which I could put in his holster, actually, but I didn't. So actually he could hold this one. He comes with a bipod, 
I'm assuming for is a big gun that he's a holding at the moment. He comes with another two sort of grenades like this, and then another one again, different style, like this. He comes, I'm not sure what this is or where it fits on. It's supposed to have something it attaches to, but I haven't worked out. It's a little hole there. Like that. And then he comes with his uh, rebreather, his respirator, whatever there. Let's get a close look at the figures. When I do articulation, I'll need to look at three of, two of them. Maybe even three. They've all got fingers that articulate. Um, so I might have to do that individually in a moment. Let's get a close look at the In fact, I'll do figures and features now and then look at articulation later. So here is King. He looks like a, almost like a SWAT. You see he's got the uh, armoured shield there, which you can use a, as a uh, still knuckle, a knuckle duster. And then he can put the other one on the other hand and he can go boxing and breaking skulls. Very, very nice. Got his baton, which comes out there. Got the pistol there. The knife there. And this is the little thing which I've half put down there. And his backpack. His backpack, I've no idea what this is meant to be. But it's rather cool. Nice to have features. But his backpack, you can pull out. You can... Eventually, he says. Because I've done it already. There we go. You can pull apart... What this is meant to be, you tell me, but these parts do also move. I don't know what that is, but they are articulated parts here as well. And then you've got this part here, which looks all right. But again, I don't know what it, pur it purpose it serves doing that. But it's a nice feature, just I don't know what it does. If anybody has worked it out, if you've got one already, let me know. Let's push that back in. Then we come to Argos, the uh, is it Night Predator or Nocturnal Predator. That gun is fantastically long, but mine's a mm, touch bent, but that's okay. Drill barrel. Look how he can aim that as well. Most monitoring scales figures can't do that. And if you look at the scope, the scope, is that an optical illusion? No, it's optical illusion. I about to say the scope is leaning. It's not. It's the actual one part there. There's a part here on the back of the gun which can pivot around and you can actually attach that to his back if you, instead of his backpack which we'll look at in the moment now that's not hair that's part of his helmet and I'll put his helmet on later you'll see that really cool those big rounds there got his gun in there his gun is like one of Steel's still one of Jack's guns previously now with his backpack now, what you can do this, you can open up this quite far, then you can... No, don't come off. It says taking bits off, that's not supposed to come off. Okay. You can do the feet outwards. Let me zoom out a little bit for this. That will come down a bit further. And then that... I take his gun out of his hands. Can be used. Which way is it? I think it's this way. If I get this right, it should be like, I believe. Doesn't help that I've got pieces pinging off because I've not assembled it currently. It's that way. You have the two at the front, or one at the front, I can't remember. Let's have a quick look. It's the one at the front, sorry. You have it this way, and then this can slot in there, and that can almost slot in there. You put the bipod down, and if I get it right, the angle wrong there you've got a self-balancing gun but I need to push it in slightly further so it sinks down and that'll be the nice sort of height to have a almost a ready control shot 
which would be really, really quite cool. It's not quite flat there, but it's a really nice feature. Also with his gun, so the bipod, as we saw, folds in, but his gun also folds back on itself to make it smaller. And this part, which I was looking at earlier, if you wanted to, you could just have that plugged into his back. Uh, and then you can just twist that round. And he looks rather cool with that in his back. But then, what about the backpack? Well, I think that looks better than having the backpack in there. The backpack's pretty cool, but the feature, the feature for me is a bit, mm, yeah, it's not the greatest feature in the world. And I'll keep pinging this one part out. Okay, there we go. No, it's not in again. Okay, that is in, but that's going to push it off. Nah! Okay, let me just quickly sort this out. Okay, so that's nice and flat, and that plug in his back. But I think having the actual gun in his back looks better. Then we come to our friend Still, who just armed to the teeth i mean look at that he's got the uh sort of robot arms backpack holding this big heavy gun really nice handle this handle goes from side to side to be right or left-handed face sculpt is all right looks like he needs a mustache or something um that little pistol looks pretty cool the other pistol which i didn't stick goes in the uh, holster there the backpack's good you see in the backpack it holds two of the rockets and the rocket launcher which i'm holding here there's got another rocket in there. And yes, the rockets, this is acid rain. They do come out, they do go back in. Nice, nice looking feature. Loads of articulation on his backpack, which we'll look at in a moment. In fact, we'll look at it now. If I take the backpack off, you'll see that the backpack can as well fold quite small. Let's take this off here. These are rubber hands on the actual backpack, so they grip quite well. Uh, which way around? So you could just do something like that, and you can plug it in, and it's a lot smaller. If you wanted to, you could have the arms down instead if you want. Uh, these are a ball, so they do move in every direction. And let me just take out the rounds as well. It's a well thought out design. So what we'll do now, we'll do articulation. So I'll start with the backpack, then I'll choose one figure. So here's the backpack, plugs in. These arms are on a ball, so they can go all the way this way. This is also a pivot here, so the arm can go to the front. The arms have a double elbow, they go straight. You can um, also articulate the wrist in every direction and turn the hand too. So it's very, very high, highly um, articulated. Figure, I will use uh, Argos since he's not holding anything at the moment. Now we know what's going to be bad. We know the bad thing is going to be the shoulders. I just wish they'd put that sort of uh, War of Order, see top right video, uh, shoulder articulation system in here. There's some things good about them, but some things are not good about the shoulders. So head is a forwards backwards, side to side. He can turn. It's pretty good down and up. Shoulders all the way around. Now the bad part is the lateral raise. That's as far as they'll go. Any more than that, and they'll pop. But they do have a shoulder roll, which helps with some things. Biceps are going to be amazing normally. Well over 90. He's got traditional sort of articulation, so gun hand on his right. Left is a wave hand. I actually prefer it that way. Actually, no, I prefer the uh, barbell joint, like in 40k figures. There is trunk, you can see, but it's hidden by his vest. Forwards, backwards, side to side, turn. Waist is a turn. And not much else. Hips, sculpting gets in the way. Forwards okay, backwards okay. I should say that there is a bicep swivel as well. There is a hip turn, there's a double kneecap, and you see that his feet go really quite tight. I think I just popped something off in a second ago. Did I put it down there? I've popped something off him, I have to find that. He also has a little blue thing which plugs in here, which I had on earlier, but now I don't know where it is. Um, plugs in there. Um, feet, they all should have a boot turn, but it can be limited 
by the sculpting. They have a swivel, which is particularly good. Tippy toe is not bad. The dorsiflexation, though, the sculpting does prevent it being much more than that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this. I'm going to set them up with their masks. I'm going to put on um, this guy Argus's sort of a other suit. Got to take off his backpack and his uh, vest for that. And we'll come back, take a look, do a measurement and a comparison. And we'll close up from there. Now, if you do like your one scale action figures, do look in the video description below because I've got links for Cool Toys Club, Locker Toys and Flight I'm a Joy Toy Store who do so a wide range of one scale figures and you can get discounts by clicking on the links. Okay, so back in an instant for you guys. Okay, here they are. They are masked up. I've changed the, uh, I want to say the outfit, uh, the uh, vest on Argus. I prefer the other one. That one, while I appreciate it's an armoured sort of camouflage, it just doesn't do it for me. Uh, we'll have a quick look. So it goes in the front to attach side parts and you attach a back part, back part which goes again to the back. It looks like an apron. He's going to do like the uh, base the turkey for Christmas and stuff it. But with the mask though, the mask is fantastic. I love that effect on the mask. If we look at Steel and his mask, now it's just a respirator. The actual goggles part comes up and down anyway. Got him fully armed up again. And then if we go to King, I've changed his knuckle duster. I've taken the baton out and stuck in the armoured arm. He does look good. Real proper riot police officer, soldier, storm, whatever. He does look fantastic. Very, very cool. And then what I'll do now, I'll add in unmasked Jack to the side. Just come out a little bit. Who's loading up his shotgun. And I'll add in Bob on the other side, unmasked again. Who's on guard duty. And there you've got the Bucks team, the latest, the latest version of the Bucks team. And they do look good. Let's get a sort of a zoom and a zoom and sweep on this. Great looking figures, it has to be said. Not cheap by any means. But the sheer options that you get with them in terms of accessories, loadout, etc. Does make it, in my opinion, not a bad buy. Not cheap, but not a bad buy. If you've got two of these and you've got some other loose action figures around, you buy two of these, you've got equipment to, to equip up another two, three, four figures. You know, great options. I think this is really, really cool. How do I compare and rate them to the original Acid Rain World? Again, I can't compare to Walk in the Park and never got them. Um, I prefer the look of the original Bob, if I'm honest. Uh, and pr the head. And probably... God, I think, yeah, maybe the original Argos as well and I want to say maybe all of them in terms of aesthetic but equipment you just cannot touch what they've done with these I mean the original still came with a briefcase to put his two rockets in which was pretty cool and he had the little clip on his back you could put the rock launcher on but the clip always broke you know um, but these are fantastic figures uh, well done to uh, Toys of Lance, Acid Rain World and Kit Lau the uh, Creator designer of Acid Rain. I think these are cracking one of his scale figures. So many options with them. Um, job well done. High quality. Just wish that shoulder articulation was better. Now what you can do for shoulder articulation. You can actually pop the shoulders out. You can take off the shoulder armour. So there's no armour. And then they'll get much greater range of motion. So that's something you can do. If you want to get a fix for the shoulders. Okay. Again, please uh, consider joining the Patreon. There's a link in the description below along with discount codes for Cool Toys Club Flight and the Joy Toy Score at Joy Toy Store <laughs> and Locker Toys. And I will see you in the next video. Subscribe to this channel, smash that notification bell icon, stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.